Hello Khatija and students. Today the Mobile Science Laboratory is going to show you a very very simple experiment which is almost everyday occurrence in almost yes. every household. But today we will do it with the help of some instruments. So Khatija, yes. what are you going to show the students today? Today I am going to show them separating techniques. Alright. Yes sir. Right. For this experiment we have some sand particles in the beaker. Yes. And we have a wash bottle over here. Okay. Test tube, a glass funnel and a filter paper. So now I am going to mix water in the sand particles. Now I got the mixture of water and sand particles over there. Now this mixture, I am going to separate water, heavy particles and even the light particles which is floating on the water. Alright. Yes. So students just have a look at this. This is very dirty brown in color. So what we will do is, we will keep a small amount of this as a reference. Okay. Yes. So give me one test tube. I will just keep a small amount of this. Yeah, that's right. We should keep this. So this is just water and sand. Sand. Right. Now what is the next step, Khatija? Now as you have seen, uh, I mix the solution properly. Hmm. Now I'm going to keep this mixture at least for a few minutes. Right. So what will happen? After a few minutes, all the heavy particles will settle down. Hmm. And we can see some light particle that is floating on the water over here. Right. So I am going to clean only water of this mixture. So I will take only water into the another container. So in, in other words, you are going to transfer the top layer of the water yeah. into another Into container. the another beaker. Does this have a special name? Yes sir, it is a decantation. That is right. Now students remember that in the house when we make tea, and if we don't have a sieve Same. or a strainer, we slowly decant it. We say decaution nikal ram. Yeah. So the same thing what we are going to do is, we are just going to pour it in such a way, only the water comes and the heavy, heavy. particles remain. Down. Remains there. So please. So I am going to decant the water. done with it. Now these decant water also contain dust particles and many more floating particles to which we are going to clean with the help of another method that is a filtration. So while you are getting ready with the filter paper, yes. what I would like to show the viewers is, now see heavy particles have settled down. This is called sedimentation. Here we have got decanted water. So the process of taking out the water from one into the other is called decantation. The settling down of the sand or heavy particles is called sedimentation. sedimentation. So get rid uh, yes. your uh, filter paper ready. For the filtration technique, I need a filter paper and we have to make the filter paper into cone shape. Okay, for this, fold the filter paper into half. Next, another half, three papers at one side and one paper at the another side. Just this way, we made the cone of our filter paper. This filter paper, I am going to put on the glass funnel over here. As you could see, the filter paper is moving up and down over here. So it shouldn't happen for this, I am going to put some water on the walls of this glass funnel. Now this filter paper I have put on the flask over here. Now I am going to filter this water with the help of the glass rod. Now students one question might have arise in your mind that I can pour this decanted water directly onto this filter paper. Why do I need this glass rod over here? Because with the help of this glass rod, we can slowly pour the decanted water on this. 
as the filter paper will be so delicate that it may get damaged that's why we are pouring the decanted water slowly with the help of a glass rod and students apart from that one very important point that you have to remember is that when the filter paper gets wet it becomes very soft and can puncture very easily so our experiment will get yes. wasted and secondly when we are doing very accurate quantitative measurements in chemistry even dro one drop loss will be very very dangerous in getting wrong results yes. so that is the reason why as khatija has shown you we hold the glass rod touching the filter paper and add the water so that not even a drop of water is lost like this so this is very important and also you have to remember that when you touch the glass rod to the filter paper don't use too much of force gently that yes, is important sir. right so you people must be observing that drops of water is coming through this funnel we will do one thing we will collect one more sample and we will keep it over here now you can see very clearly yes please give me the earlier one beta thank you this was our just decanted water this is our filtered water yes and you can see the difference between the two but now i will ask one question to the students can you drink this water no it is still visibly dirty yes we can't drink this water so we need to have much more purification to get drinkable water drinkable. from this but if you want pure water even filtering will not help then you have to do another process and that process is called distillation distillation in distillation will you tell them what happens in distillation the water is going to evaporate and it is going to condense so what we do in distillation is we collect this type of water we put it into a round bottom flask we heat it and then the water gets converted to steam steam when the water gets converted to steam if we just let it go it will evaporate, evaporate and go completely so we don't allow it to go out what we do is we allow it to go into a narrow tube into a special apparatus called the condenser the condenser has got an outer layer of glass in which there is cold water circulating so that cold water will get the steam condensed yes. that means it will reconvert it into liquid water and what you collect will be clear distilled water yes now this is called distilled water one thing i must tell you students it's not very good to drink distilled water every day yes it's not good for health yeah we need minerals for our functions in our human body so distilled water is used for batteries etc but not for drinking so you this you have to keep in mind so quickly why don't you summarize what you have done so far kati we have demonstrated the separation techniques uh, in which at first one we have seen sedimentation where all the heavy particles settle down and we have used the above layer of the water into the another baker beaker that is called as decantation the decantation decantation water is filtered again with the help of a funnel flask and filter paper so this way with the help of this filtration method we could easily separate the few dust particles and light particles which were floating on the water and we could easily get the clear water over here which we have seen in this test tubes and to get pure water or distilled water we have to take this filtered water into the distillation flask into a distillation flask and distill it so these are the separation techniques these are basic separation techniques but in advanced laboratories we go to many many more sophisticated methods of separation which we do not have to bother today yes 
Chromatography is one such technique, but what we would like to show you next time is a simple technique of chromatography also. So I hope you have understood what we have done today. It is simple, basic separation, separation techniques. techniques. And yes. thank you, Katija. That was a very nice explanation. And remember the steps, sedimentation, Station. decantation, filtration, and finally distillation. Well, simple, but very important. I hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you. Thank you very much.